Hey guys, welcome back to another Lazy Sunday. This week I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of the books that I've been reading and then also give you my thoughts on those books. For this week I decided that I was going to keep it simple and I wasn't going to overwhelm myself with a ridiculous amount of books that I really want to read. And so I decided that I was only going to read two books this week. The first one, I just started it. I'm like five or ten pages into it right now so I just started and then the second one I'm pretty well into it so yeah let's just go ahead and get started this first book that I'm reading is called what I didn't say and it's already out I want to say that it came out either April or May so if you guys decide that you want to read this book and you really like it, you can check it out online or get it at a bookstore because it's already out. But like I said, I just started reading this book. I'm about five or ten pages into it. So I don't really know too much about the story. Well, I know about the story, but I just I haven't really gotten far in the book to know what is going on. So the only information that I really know is what I read online about the synopsis. And for those of you guys that are not familiar with this book that haven't read it yet, this book is about a guy named Jack Hayes who gets into this really horrible car accident and he can't speak anymore. And the one thing that he's constantly thinking about and the one thing that he regrets the most before he lost his voice and speaking ability is that he never got the chance to tell this one girl named Samantha Shea how much he loved her. And so he goes back home to this island where there's about 5,000 people that live there and he starts trying to deal with being this new person, having to be this mute person. And he starts spending a little bit more time with this Samantha Shea person and she essentially teaches him that being mute isn't the worst thing that could happen to him and it's not the end of the world and that's basically where the story takes off like i said i don't really know very much about the story i just started it i feel like i'm getting background information and some storytelling and i don't feel like the book has in any way shape or form had the opportunity to pick up and go anywhere because i just started it but it looks like a really interesting book it sounds it sounds like one of those real life books that you would pick up and read so I'm really interested to see where this book goes and yeah. So this next book that I'm reading I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have read it or are familiar with it. I think I'm one of the only people that hasn't read this book yet along with who knows how many other books that you guys have probably already read and I still haven't jumped on the bag wagon to read but this book that I'm talking about is called Switched by Amanda Hawking and it is her first book in her Trill series. There's two other books that are out and I think the most recent one came out maybe two months ago, three months ago, around there. I'm not really sure. But I've always seen this book at Walmart and I like the cover. I mean it's a really pretty cover. It's red so it definitely caught my eye when I was browsing through their shelves. But I never really got around to picking it up and reading it. And I think I saw this book in someone's review or in someone's haul and I finally decided, you know what, I'm going to go pick it up. And so I did and when I read the back cover of the book, I automatically thought this book is about possession and it's about demons. Because just within the first paragraph of the synopsis, it says that her mother thought she was a monster and she tried to kill her. So that was like a red flag and I just automatically assumed. But as I started reading on about it, I came to find out that it has nothing to do with demons or possession. I was surprised at what it really has to do with. So if you guys aren't familiar with this book, this book is about a girl named Wendy Everly who her mother thinks is a monster and tries to kill her when she's about six years old. And she gets sent to this asylum for mentally ill patients and there's this kid named Finn who she finds is really creepy because he's always staring at her and eventually she comes to find out that he's not a really creepy kid he's actually some sort of tracker a person who is there to take her back to her real home she's always known that she doesn't belong and she always feels like an outcast and she's constantly getting into fights with other kids which is sort of the reason why she is constantly picking up and moving to different schools and different areas so when this kid 
Finn comes to her and tells her that she's a changeling and he's here to take her home. She's kind of surprised and doesn't really know whether or not to believe him. And that's basically where the story takes off. So, so far I've been really, really enjoying this book. I had no idea that it had anything to do with trolls. I mean, when I first picked it up, I automatically assumed that it was about demons or possessions and it has nothing to do with either one of those things. So I was really, really thrown off when I found out what it was about and it's really cool. It's a really cool concept. It's definitely a really cool storyline considering as how I haven't read very many books on trolls. I have to say it really is a page turner because I just started reading this book last night and I'm already on chapter 8. And the only reason why I stopped reading it was because I was starting to get tired and I needed some sleep. But if I wouldn't have been tired, I'm pretty sure I would have kept reading it and I probably would have finished the book in that one night. I mean, it's not a very big book anyway, but it's really, really good right now. There wasn't a lot of storytelling or background information in the first few chapters. I feel like it almost jumped into the action and just jumped in and just took you on a roller coaster ride. And up until this point, chapter 8 ish, I'm finally starting to get more information on who Wendy really is, her past, and what it is to be, you know, a Trill, and who her real mother is, and so I'm really loving this book. It's really, it's really good, and I'm really excited to see what the other two books are going to be about and how this book ends. So these are the two books that I'm reading for this week, and I'm kind of curious to see what some of the books that you guys are reading. So if you guys want, you can leave some of the books you're reading in the comments below, and I would be more than happy to check those out and maybe even steal some of them and add them to my Goodreads or put them in my wish list for Barnes & Noble. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. See you later!